Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. I'm back to the channel. I want to say a big thank you to my subscribers, to Annie for giving me super thanks and uh, for all of all of you who give donations and who support me uh, with your comments, likes, shares and everything. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate it. It really helps the channel. Okay, so what is today? Well, I've done a, just done a collective reading and uh, I wanted to talk about something. I think I touched on it towards the end. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I've still got cold. It's going into my head now. <laughs> so I sound a bit bunged up. Sorry. So I uh, wanted to talk about a dream I had last night. And how it's uh, going to help you basically in uh, your life, I'm hoping. And um, we'll see where it goes from there. Because I have a feeling there's some uh, going to be some revelations uh, and channeling again. <laughs> Wonderful. So uh, we'll let spirit uh, do what they need to do. But I'll start with the dream. But before we do that, I'm going to light a candle for protection. I've got my little houses here with the tea lights. It's almost like a little community here. And it's like a representation of us on the channel. So um, yeah, we're going to light it. Um, ask for protection. If you're going to do any meditation or channeling, it's a good idea to light a, cha a channel, <laughs> light a candle and ask for protection first always and guidance from the white light of God, whoever you worship, whoever you, you go to, higher self, whatever. And uh, just do that and ask them to close it down afterwards and you close it down by saying thank you. Okay, and um, asking out loud for it to be closed down, <laughs> simple as that. Okay, so we're going to do... Ah, that's cold. Um, so we'll uh, light this candle. Okay. And this candle is mandarin, clove and cinnamon like it was last time. And it's good for protection, I'm told. So add intuition and guidance. Thank you. Okay, so if you want to set any other intentions there, uh, please do so now by looking at the flame want to hear some information or anything like that okay i don't know why i had to say that but i had to say that okay so i'll just put it there it's over here i uh, can't quite see it i'm bring it next to the little houses there okay so this dream right <sighs> If you've been in that frame of mind where you're not sure which way to go, uh, you know, uh, with your life, with your career, with anything, um, this may help you in particular. And I think a lot of people right now have to change their mindset, change their perspective, their way of looking at everything. A lot of people are downtrodden or being um, pushed around, not getting, there's not a lot of reciprocation going on in there life i know i've had that with a lot of things and i've been allowing people to trample all over me and i had this very strange dream last night and i always have strange dreams and yeah i know when spirit are in my dream and they're communicating to me uh it's a, a very strange experience for me i, I swear my astral traveling somewhere so so i'm now they they often show me roads so these symbols may mean something to you Okay, but this uh, main road, it was in the UK country place uh, and I was crossing it with a few people. So I was taking my life in my hands trying to cross this road and we were going to this gothic house. Now it sounds like the house of a scary witch in a, in a TV movie. Gothic lady, younger than me, um, it, in this house. I don't know what we were doing there. It was very dark. And um, I don't know what she was doing. But uh, after that experience of being there, there were other people there. It was like going for tea or whatever. I don't know. It's very strange. So uh, somebody could have been communicating with me. I don't know. Uh, we went out and went back across the road. Then all of a sudden, this is where it gets really weird like dreams do. But it communicated so much to me. Uh, basically, I was, oh, sorry, I'm just seeing my main guy standing there, or leaning. 
Um, he's just made himself strong in my mind. Um, so this dream uh, was about vampires, but they were kind of odd vampires because all of a sudden I found myself in these. It looked like the same house, but I, I wasn't sure. This dark room, I couldn't see anything, but I knew there were things in there and I actually felt terrified. And the next thing I knew, they were vampires and they were coming towards me and they were biting me and they were oh, really sucking blood out of me. It was horrible. And <laughs> they, um, I felt like I was, uh, I've had this before when I sleep and I don't know if it's because I see so many faces at night. I've been seeing that. Oh, the images nonstop. Uh, it's a total bombardment at night and they've got to keep these people back, my um, angels. And uh, it felt like somebody was touching me where they shouldn't, as in touching me on my side. I've had that before and I've woken up, I've jumped awake a few times. So I don't know what that was, but I felt that. And then they're biting me and doing everything. I am really, really drawn off me and I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to get out of this. And then it just stopped. Now, these vampires, they were more like gremlins in the end. I realised they were smaller and they were like gremlins, but vampires. Have you seen the movie Gremlins? They were like that. And I, um, they suddenly stopped. And I thought, oh, I can get out, I can get out. I've just got to get to that door. Now, I've, Spirit have been showing me doors a lot. They may have been showing you doors as well. So I tried to rush to the door. And I got through it and I suddenly became somebody else, like long dog hair. And then sometimes I say it, say it with red, red, long red hair, like um, sort of a Titian colour, I suppose, gold red. <coughs> Excuse me. And I, um, this character, because it was like a story to me. And I sometimes dream in sto story form because I, I'm an author. So I... Um, opened the door and I just heard one the and it was a female voice and it was one of the gremlins and it was suddenly um light don't go don't go and I thought oh my god just get out so I'm outside this door and it's like a little wooden door like a like those fairy doors you can go it's like, like that and I'm trying to shut the door but it wouldn't shut and I couldn't lock it the key was there and I couldn't lock it and it kept coming to join I think they're gonna come and get me again and that, <laughs> do that it must be my three times that happened then the key suddenly disappeared and it was on the other side of the door and I thought oh my god I'm gonna have to go back in there and I remember I'm this other person as well at the time this other this character and so I, I'm going to do that. But before I saw, did that, I could see this gremlin coming up with these little s twigs. Oh, my God. I've just realised what. Oh, that's creepy. Um, I'll tell you. So they look like flowers and they're holding them out like that. And they look like they had a little mop of blonde on there. And the female voice and she's going, uh, don't go, don't go. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, got, got the key, got out, locked the door, and ran. And I was back on that road, crossing the road, but I was with my um, child. Uh, I couldn't quite see him clearly, but he was younger. So I don't know what that was. And it was as if I was going to a car park that was on a hill over the road. It was very, very strange. I just realised that. Um, they often show me uh, wedding, um, commitment, rings, things like that, um, if, meaning for different things in my life. Obviously not my marriage, because <laughs> that's gone. Um, but um, very strange, I've just realised, I wonder if she was also supposed to represent a bride as well, and like a joining and a connecting with something awful, I, I don't know. Uh, very, very uh, oh, horrible. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then, this is where it changes, gets a bit, um, a bit teen wolf, actually. Because I found myself in this station. It was closed in. And uh, it was, um, it was a platform. 
but it was suddenly in the 1920s. Now, I was told my last past life was in 1926. But I say all these uh, young uh, men uh, sort of standing there, and I knew they were the men in black, but they were wearing different clothes. And they were all standing there at different intervals, just looking. Their hair was flat, and their hair was different. They were wearing sort of, it was 1920s, but they all looked like Prada shoot models, you know, uh, uh, that kind of thing. And I'm thinking, what? And then I will go. So I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I would love to be able to discuss all of that uh, with you, and uh, you know your um, your own dreams and spiritual experiences. Uh, I want to do that over Zoom. If you want to talk to me about this, uh, send me an email about joining the um, the little circle I want to set up on Zoom. And uh, we can go from there because it's I would love to know what you're experiencing because the world is evolving. Uh, as you know, we're all evolving at the moment. Lots of things are happening. So, um, yeah, let me know if you see anybody outside this window. I don't mean people walking past. I mean, uh, you know, spirit tends to congregate out there as well. The mibs are always protecting or standing outside. If, you, if you're new here and you want to know more about the uh, men in black who are around me, uh, spirits, uh, angels, uh, check out the previous videos, please. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but there's definitely a vampire theme. So why don't we have a look with some cards to kick off any, um, oh, any, uh, channeling that they want me to do. Okay, and these are my vampire cards. So I'm getting the impression that I've had to talk to you about this because there are a lot of vampires around you in your life at the moment. Uh, a lot of things, you, I because this dream got me into a different mindset. I woke up and I thought, right, that's enough. Um, oh, I explain it this way. I have had a lot of books on Inkit for free. Um, they're books that should be earning me money. Uh, someone go past. Uh, yeah, and um, I've let people have them for weeks, over a month for free. And that's it's been like prawn has eaten them sometimes. That's how it's felt. And that's a piece of my energy out there. You know, when you create things, it's your energy. So handle it with care and respect it because it's your energy. When you put it out there, your energy is going out to people. Okay, I've, I've really learned that. And um, so I thought, no, you need to put them on the subscriptions. You can support my books on Inkit if you're interested. I write Sarabella Kingsley and I write all sorts of stuff out there. So, and they are channeled messages, even the naughty ones. <laughs> uh, so I um, sat, my whole mindset changed. I thought, right, that's it. I'm not doing this. I need to think more like Alan Sugar <laughs> on The Apprentice. Yeah, I need to be doing that. So um, I've changed so many things today. I just knew that things had to be different because I was being drained. I was being to the point, and I have a health condition as it is, and it's mentally draining, emotionally draining. And I think that's what's happening to a lot of you. I, I put all my books on subscription uh, with a, and I reduced the, uh, the free chapters that I was giving out to showcase some of the work. Uh, down to three chapters. I thought, no, this is, and I'm getting the impression that this message is for you uh, as well, that you have to see what's draining you in your life. The world is draining us. As light workers, we are being drained. What's going on, you know, in Israel and Gaza is, is horrendous. And if you're sending healing out there, um, you know, you're really feeling it. It's, it's very strong. I mean, everybody's feeling it because it affects us all. What goes on in these conflicts is affecting us all as a collective, you know, and it's part of the evolution. It's horrible. It's just horrible. And then my aunt goes out there, anybody who's affected by it, you know, um, it's not right. Okay. But it, it's part of the process to get this world where it should be. And I... Sometimes I, with spiritual warfare, which is basically what's going on um, with all this change and having to see ourselves as equals and love each other. Yeah, I mean, that seems to be really hard, a hard thing to do. And that's because of all the rhetoric and all the crap, basically, that's coming at us from around the world, from 
different agendas, dark agendas, yeah? And um, we've, we are fighting with that because it's what we've known for years and centuries, you know, reincarnating in this place, everything. And we are having to change that now and stand up and be in our truth. And it's not, it's not just ha happening on the world stage, it's just happening within us as well. So, you know, what's the toxicity around you? Who, who and what do you need to get rid of and come forward with? So, yeah, Queen of Scepters, okay? Uh, these are vampire tarot <laughs> vampires. So uh, we've got Queen of Scepters, which is Queen of Wands. So I think it's asking you to be in your authentic self, to speak your truth without fear as a light worker yeah and god touched on that in the collective reading a bit and it's about seeing who you are i mean look at that red hair you know uh being bold being assertive being you know what you need to be with your opinions and ideas because you're not being heard at the moment you are protected i mean look at this panther you are protected Black's always colour for protection. Okay. Daughter of Skull. Some of you have messages to give. Yeah. Uh, you have lots of messages to give. Uh, you um, have to... Uh, Daughter of Skull. That's like a uh, page of cups type of energy. Some of you are younger out there. You have messages to give. It's almost like uh, you are young souls. You need to communicate. Some of you are the 144,000, the new souls on the planet as well, to give out messages and push this uh, new, I want to say agenda, it's not an agenda, new way of being forward. It's about standing in your truth, speaking your truth, wearing your soul outside of your body. I don't know what that means, but that's what the, that's what I'm getting. Um Look, the death of the old. This is the old I'm showing you and the new. And this is what I keep getting this. There you go. Um, <laughs> they love to tap, as you know, and confirm. And it's all about getting this big push the light workers forward. Push the light workers forward. And there are people trying to stop you. These little vampires, bots, whatever you want to call them. They are out there. They're trying to stop you. And you know who they are. And you've got to, you know, as long as you're speaking... Uh, your peace, love, equality, and caring for people and being constructive and not aggressive, then you're doing your job. You know, um, Prince of Scepters, this is definitely um, Knight of Wands energy. Hurry. Mm, where that came from? Hurry. It's time. You must act. And now I know you're not all, um, you know, uh, I'm confirmed church being like, I don't I have to keep explaining this because I don't want people getting the wrong idea. They show me these symbols, uh, the Christian symbols, because that's what I understand. But I'm non-denominational with this, all right? And I don't care what you are or, yeah, or what you think of what I am because you won't, and I go my own way with everything like that. But it's like the cross, the um, uh, source, universe, um, white light, God, you know, however you want to say it, it's in the name of uh, the source that we are doing this work. and We must step forward and uh, go into battle, spiritual warfare, and we're being called forward. Uh, but look, I mean, there's, you know, and it's being called to stand up and actually be the warrior, be, you know, sometimes people aren't going to agree with what you say or whatever, but you're having to speak your truth and it's being a warrior, having confidence be who you are. You are warriors here for a reason and we need to start moving forward. I'll get one more. Um, queen of Knives. Oh, that's nice. Um, that's Queen of Swords. Yeah. So it's speaking that that could be me here. That could be you and your. It doesn't mean if you're a um, man, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, this is not for you. Wrong. This is the energy. You need to speak your truth. Uh, you may find yourself alone. Your intellectual, uh, bring your intellectual pursuits into truth. I'm getting these messages, okay? Uh, step forward, give yourself a voice. Be, bring out your spiritual gifts, 
okay and uh show the world that you were there for them you're a protector of humanity and that's why you're here even if you don't agree with a lot of the people that's what we are here to do every time i look at this card i know it's like a um shadow but i always it's almost like i see spirits standing right behind her guiding protecting and pushing forward okay so uh, if if you want to know which way to go ask your guides and angels to come forward I can give you a personal reading if you want. They're on sale at the moment. I do angel life path readings. But this is about pushing ourselves forward, getting rid of those vampires. There are going to be different symbols within that dream that I had to communicate to you. Okay, so, uh, you know, what does that mean to you? What is it saying to you? Okay, we have a little community on here. And this is the community of the world as well and how we need to protect it. Yeah, um, we are all equal but different. Yeah, okay, and that is fantastic because that's that's the fantastic bit about the world. It's also about animals. It's also about Gaia. It's also about the stars. It's all this connection to source. Okay, and it's about encompassing all of that, and that's going to be in all of your gifts. I'm getting that you need to, and you. It's almost like some of you have um, speeches, books things stuck within you and that it's like they're stuck here and they need to come out and they've been there and some of you are not wanting to come forward because you are afraid to but they have to come out uh, you are protected yeah your guides angels are around you if you have trouble of confidence with that then i can help you through angel coaching through psychic development coaching through straight life coaching and the readings as i say uh to help you get that voice get that confidence because some of you have been uh knocked back an awful lot and we have to um try and push forward all right i'm seeing those missiles again oh right okay so there's something about uh now i i've described what I, the images i had in israel and gaza i'll put that um there's much more to come, I've been told, but I'll put that video on um, Sorry, I'm channeling. Something about running through the tunnels. People coming out from underground in Gaza. They're in the tunnels, they're all in the tunnels and their spirit are at, no. Um, I sent out loads of my angels out to help and it's like they're um, pushing them out of the ground some are going to come out before the offensive begins at least five are going to escape they're being assisted to escape ten have died they don't know more than that at the moment they're searching for them because It's like a blackout on where they are. Something's protecting them. I'm not talking about, I'm getting on a spiritual level here. Um, so there's like, I'm, I'm just seeing black, um, blank. Uh, it's being blocked and they're fighting through that. It is a war. It's not just about what's going on on the surface. It's about what's going underneath all of that in spiritual uh, way. And oh, they show me those missiles again and it's almost like they're coming through the wall they're coming through matter um at me going through me um and that can be uh i'm being told now that's to do with words as well some people are trying to stop us speaking out about the actual spiritual war that's going on it these are all distractions these are fires around the world that must be put out but underneath it all there are people working underground in spirit. I see people with hoods, secret organisations in spirit trying to help because some of these agendas are outside of the world. And I'm not talking about aliens. I'm talking about dimensions within the heavens. I got purple light there when I said that. And the candle flickered. Unless it was me moving. I don't know, but it flickered. Um, I'm not allowed to say anymore. Um, but there is has more going to be revealed about where this actual spiritual warfare is coming from. So 
I'll be doing that in the next video. But if you want to talk more about your ideas that you're getting, write it down. Yeah, talk. It, because by speaking these things out, they lose their power. Okay? And that's why I'm told to tell things. You know, when you get that, be clever. So don't spread my... No, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's what I, we need you to do. And it's about diffusing their power. Okay? And once you say these things, you can often change the course of events. Uh, believe it or not, that's what I'm told. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm being asked to. I'm being asked to shut down now. So I've had this once before. I've got to go. Uh, take care of yourselves and uh, all that coaching and personal readings details are in the description. Uh, look after yourselves. Bye.